Yeah, hello fans. Uh, thank you for always being here. I brought this video here based on request. Some persons were just asking, please ma, I cannot get the, the pink tie tutorials. I want to register. Please ma, are you having a personal class for it? Okay. It is here now. Actually, I used it for training, but I saw that there was a demand for it from you people and i love you so much i don't want to deny you anything so for that reason i brought it here so if this is your first time being here please don't forget to subscribe and then this video is going to be in two parts part one and two ensure you watch both the part one and part two for better understanding is that okay so welcome to class so let's just go to the main reason why we are here all right let's start with the pleat so for me to achieve the gele i actually uh, have to pleat and in doing the pleat i have to fold the entire as if I'm folding it for an all-round gilly. You know how we fold the all-round gilly? Just folding everything. But because this is not an all-round gilly, I'm only going to start from the bottom to fold it like I'm folding an all-round gilly. So assuming I joined, let me say, five uh five pieces of ashoke now the part i'll be folding like i'm folding an all-round gilly might be up to three or three and a half so the remaining parts that i will not fold is the part i'll be using to create the fan so when i fold I fold to a part where I feel my height should start. So when I get to that part, the next thing I will do is I'll find a way to slant the gele. That is, I'll make it unequal. The easiest way I normally use is to take a little bit from the top. Eh? And then I will fold bigger parts from the bottom. Immediately, the ashoke will become unequal or it will become uh, slanted. So once I get the slant, I will now begin to fold it equally. Hmm? You can see the slant now. So at this very point, I will shift the tie to the ear the position where it is now is almost like maybe at the middle of the dummy's head because i want the gele to flow from neck to neck i'm not going to move it to the neck no yes to the neck or let me say to the ear mm? just like you can see now when i move it there i will use my a needle and thread to secure it to that part if you watch my videos especially on auto gele you'll find out that i always have this um, material on my dummy okay this is because the dummy is not a pinable dummy you understand so but i need to have a part where i can actually pin use needle to hold something to so for me to be able to do that i usually put the suede on it please ensure that the suede is not the one that is um fading what's the right word i think fading is the right word something that can now stain your work all right so after pinning it to that Part where 
the neck i will rearrange it you know the first arrangement i have did not scatter it's just that in the process of trying to secure it to the dummy head you understand it will look like it's a little bit scattered but for me to get what i'm doing right i need to rearrange it and you see where my hand is there if you wash carefully i do not remove my hands completely from what i am doing because if i do if i do i will lose the shape of the gale you know creating fun require i don't know how to really explain but uh it has some uh principles you need to follow you see we am guiding so one that part you must fold it equally so if for instance you start your first fold with a uh, one inch or let's say one and a half inch you must continue with that one and a half inch if you start uh, folding anyhow as in you are irregular with what you are folding the fan will not stand as much as possible though you cannot get exact measurement because you are not measuring to fold but at least you ensure that where you are resting on where you can see my hand on this you ensure you try that one should not be bigger than the other your folding should almost be the same and your ability to slant it always we give you the fan all right there's uh, another method you can actually use if you can tie gele if you can tie then you can if you this method i'm using is hard for you then i will advise that you tie your gele completely then you cut it to do your auto gele is that okay so now for me to move this is what i do i must come back and pleat it from beginning straighten every part that is squeezed together straighten it then i will have the basis to move it will not be comfortable for me to move but if you do not straighten and you just decide to move you will find this on smooth uh, movement in your work which might not really be too good for your work is that okay so as much as possible any time you are moving you must smoothen your foldings before you do that I'm actually taking my time to explain this because so many persons complain you know some of you have my WhatsApp number so you send me your work madam the top could not stand I have tried it before I have done this so I'm taking my time to explain please if you try it and it did not stand remember there's this saying that Rome wasn't built in a day lose it and repeat it please is that okay lose it and repeat it hmm all right so i will continue with this process that you can see just folding i remember i said i'm going to be creating a half fan it's going to be half you get me so now you can see the gele is long so it will not be possible for me to fold everything completely into this particular style that i'm creating therefore i will need to come up with an idea of how to stop this gele where i want so you see where i'm holding now i will simply fold it down do you get me i don't need to get to the final 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 finishing before i will fold down eh so 
I will just get to a point. You can see now my curve is coming forward. It's like I shifted the pleat forward. This is to enable me. So that's my score. End it where instead of at the point where enough, I want. Let of it course, be I'm going to straighten so it can work with back them. on top of the fan. And you see the if way not, it's going I to like am holding it. it. So I will surely straighten it back. It but you can see the way in I just systematically I take the part through. I need there. Eh? To end it. Is that so okay? So when you wrap because it Because if you are not systematic you can in doing that, you will be thinking I need to finish the gilly. When you think you will need down. to finish the gilly, but then something must have gone wrong that will be with your time pattern wasting. or the style you, you can are trying to just achieve. Use so what I'm trying to lay emphasis on is that as you wrap it, it is not compulsory so means like that you the finish beginning part the gilly. You can so just at this point, start with I have view. a piece of wrap this fiber and then the end the actual key that will be using it as view. a belt. So this is how just it a will look style. Now, you understand? If you don't it's want to do the rough, from the half, you can just gale, you normally fold do. the remaining part different down. But at least you know on when you provide some kind of or thing, you can it just add twist beauty to what you're doing. So I'm just using a piece of this gale now. To but tie, in case you want to mm, do the rope, just to wrap it. This is create a design. My rope, you understand. So and I told you that I had now, enough length. If you really like to so do something I started by you can actually embellish the belt. Oh, so I'm just using it to create so the belt. So I'll start pleating. You understand. Against so when I wrap it now to create the I belt, started with it is either another I method you can do this easily using. Just okay. that the ruffles will be different. But if I choose that, you can just range. Uh, I can as well range the comfortably end use straight. Like you don't and want to make the ruffles. After ranging it, it together, complete, or then you better fold it still, into I can use and take it backwards. That so is, that one, your ruffles might not really to come out uh, like glue using the, my the one glue. I'm doing now. Will but Later, usually I'll just use the needle and try to. It's also beautiful. One or two parts together, so I'll just keep and uh, it will uh, perfect. Folding this so you can see backwards. where I'll just keep. I have stopped folding it. So backwards. I will be doing the part two of this video. So search for it and watch it if you are interested in the complete video. So that will be all for this particular one. Do have a nice day.